Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and I'd like to welcome you to the third edition of the Plug in India Electric Weekly Show, the show where we bring you all the latest happenings in the electric vehicle scene in India. We also have an audio version of this show in both Hindi and English. You can find it on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts and Spotify. All right. So, for our first news item, I'd like to talk to you about Pure EV. Pure EV is a Hyderabad-based startup and it is launching a new high-power electric scooter called the Neo which will be available from all dealers starting in December 2020. Pure EV is also planning a large manufacturing facility in 2021 to meet growing demand for their vehicles. To give you some more information, the e-trans Neo will have the same battery as the e-pluto 7G and will have an X showroom price of 75,999. The powertrain and performance will be similar to the e-Pluto 7G. The body parts, chassis and performance will be an on par with ICE-based petrol scooters. Here are some features of the e-Trans Neo. It will have a 2.5 kilowatt hour portable pure lithium battery. It will have 90 kilometers range in mode 3 and it will have 60 kilometers per hour top speed. Next, it will have a 3 year or 40,000 kilometer battery warranty. It will charge at the rate of 67.2 volt 10 amperes. Finally, it will take 3 hours to a full charge. Pure EV is setting up a new 200,000 square feet manufacturing plant and commissioning it for 2021 to meet the anticipated growth in the electric scooter and battery market. Pure EV now offers the following models in the EV market: the e-Pluto 7G, the e-Trans Neo. So these are two high power electric scooters. Then in the low power segment you have the e-Pluto Economy electric scooter the e-Trans Plus and the e-Trans Mr Rohit Vadera the co-founder and CEO of Pure EV said the following The new model has better aerodynamic features for additional improvements in powertrain efficiency the vehicle has faster pickup and longer range it is being launched mainly targeting youngsters who will find this model very appealing We are targeting sales of 10000 units of this model in the first one year alone The new model will be available first in Hyderabad and then pan India from the middle of December. We spoke to the Pure EV team and they said that the Neo was a surprise for Indian consumers and indeed we were very surprised when they announced the launch of this vehicle. Because of the Neo, now Pure EV has two high speed models and two low speed models. So, the Pure lithium battery appears to be standardized across all four models. To elaborate, The e-Trans Plus has an upgraded battery with a capacity of 1.8 kilowatt hours just like the e-Pluto. The e-Trans Neo will have the same battery as the e-Pluto 7G, a 2.5 kilowatt hour battery. We think this is a really good thing because the spare inventory that dealers have will now come down and users of the scooters will be able to help each other in cases of a breakdown or during a battery swap. So essentially Pure EV now has two proven battery packs in production that serve four different models which is pretty amazing. Long time viewers of the Plug in India channel will know that we visited the the Pure EV team in Hyderabad and we were very excited with the kind of stuff that they were doing over there. Their portfolio since then seems to have completely changed and they now have so many options. We are very excited by the developments going on at Pure EV and we wish them all the best. Moving on to our next news item Bat Ray, a electric scooter company based in Jaipur, has unveiled a new product. This product is a new type of electric vehicle charging equipment. It will allow businesses to set up simple electric vehicle charging infrastructure at the premises. All electric vehicles will be able to charge at these businesses in a simple and efficient manner. The businesses will be able to monetize their EV charging. To give you more details, the Bat Ray. Recharge charging equipment is a simple and inexpensive solution for business owners, shops and parking areas to offer EV charging to EV owners. Battery will be selling the equipment at a cost of only 3000 rupees. There is an option for LED signage for advertising as well. That can be excluded for an even cheaper variant as 2400 rupees. The equipment has the following features: earthing check, MCB switch for safety, and power consumption measurement it also has an energy meter bluetooth connectivity it will track the amount of time taken to charge a vehicle 
It offers cashless payment via UPI and finally it has a multicolor LED that indicates on off status, network status and error status. Any business owner can purchase the EV charging equipment, set it up using the app and then start offering charging to EV owners. The business owner can set an hourly charging rate using the app. For an EV owner who wants to charge their vehicle, they have to follow these steps. First, download the battery app. Then, locate the recharge station on the map. Scan the QR code. Make the payment using the UPI and then finally start charging. The battery team plans to set up 500 recharge equipment in multiple locations pan India. It will also be available on Amazon and other digital platforms. The service comes with no monthly fee for business owners who purchase the equipment till March 21. Battery will charge a small nominal fee of 25 paise per hour after March 2021. Alright, so the battery team keeps surprising us with the number of connected features that it offers. We recently tested battery's GPSIE electric scooter and we found it to be a pleasant surprise. The company is largely able to offer these features because of its partnership with RevOS. RevOS is a Bangalore-based startup that offers smart AI-enabled IoT or Internet of Things solutions. The RevOS platform offers vehicle control, analysis and visualization features. They seem to be working with multiple EV manufacturers like Okinawa, Miracle and Battery. This simple charging equipment from battery is highly needed in India. Most charging equipment in India tends to be expensive. They tend to have expensive meters, power management and safety features. While traditional electric vehicle supply equipment or EVSC do have their place in the market, there is an urgent need for inexpensive charging solutions that almost any business can offer at its premises. Therefore, this recharge device from battery offers a lot of potential. We congratulate the battery team for this cool and affordable EV charging solution. We will showcase this equipment in one of our upcoming videos, so stay tuned. Moving on to the next news item, eMotorAd, a Pune-based electric bicycle startup, has launched India's first electric bicycle with dual suspension. The price for this bicycle starts at 50,000 rupees. To elaborate, the MoveWay-X is the flagship electric cycle from eMotorAd. The battery goes up to 45 km in throttle mode and 70 km in pedal assist mode. The cells used are Samsung cells. The e-bike is fitted with 21 speed gears. The company plans to launch three more products by December and February. Here are some of the features of this cycle. It has an aluminium alloy frame. It has disc brakes. It has a 36 volt 250 watt BLDC rear hub motor. It also has a 36 volt 10.4 ampere Samsung lithium ion retractable battery. Finally, its net weight is 21 kilos. This is a good looking e-bike. It has a large LCD display and a large-ish battery that will store about 375 watt hours of energy. Despite the claim that the frame is made of aluminium, the net weight of 21 kilos is slightly disappointing. Currently, there are no full suspension options available in the e-bike market in India. So, the full suspension option offered by this company is definitely a plus. A full suspension e-bike will soak up most of the jarring bumps sent through your body while cycling and help reduce fatigue. This will allow you to cycle for longer periods and go faster and do so in comfort. However, most e-bikes sold in India are hard tails. These types of bikes are lighter and more efficient during pedaling. We are happy to see that the Indian e-bike customer will now have a lot more options to choose from. And we wish the company all the best. With that, we come to our final news item. And this is the news item that we are most excited to talk about. Recently, Prime Minister Boris Johnson of the United Kingdom announced that from 2030 onwards, all vehicles, that is, car, new cars and new vans that were solely powered by petrol and diesel would be totally banned. Four billion pounds will be allocated to tackle the climate change crisis 
and create new jobs in sectors such as nuclear energy. This plan is technology agnostic. It pushes hydro and nuclear. For example, the plan has a provision to produce enough offshore wind technology to power every home in the UK. And there are also plans to use hydrogen to heat up people's home and use nuclear energy as a clean energy source. Now it should be pointed out that while this plan is ambitious, getting it to see fruition is not going to be easy. First, critics have said that the £4 billion allocated to it is simply inadequate to meet all the goals outlined in the plan by 2030. Second, getting legislation passed through Parliament regarding this plan is not going to be easy because of oil lobbyists and other vested interests. Even if this plan is only partially successful, it will still be a massive step forward in using clean energy. I really hope that we get to see this plan come to fruition in my lifetime. We'd like to know what you think. Do you think India should also enact similar legislation and have similarly aggressive targets? Do let us know in the comments below. Alright folks, with that we come to the end of this week's show. Do let us know your thoughts on the new electric scooter and battery's new charging equipment. You can write to us at support at pluginindia.com or you can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. We are cell phone and not a part of any large media organization. If you would like to support our work, do consider becoming a YouTube channel member or a Patreon. You can also support the show for free. Write a review or recommend us to friends and family. Every little bit helps. Finally, do subscribe to our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts and Spotify. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.